Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. Well, this morning, y'all are going to go with me to Walmart and Ballow. And what we're going to shop for uh, will be some stuff for some uh, green smoothies that we're going to have at supper time. And, uh, okay, the exterior temperature today is already 94 degrees, and it's about 1130 so we get our hottest part of the day at five o'clock so i'm guessing today's temperature is going to go well over a hundred all right so we'll uh start recording again once we get in uh, say walmart yeah all right so we'll see you in a minute okay we're here and i'm in the salads and i've already got some uh, organic uh, baby spinach so let's see what else we're looking for Looking at this, the Caesar salad, and I ain't getting that. There's more baby spinach, and I really want to get one of these. But the main thing I'm looking for is romaine. So we got to go down there. It's really crowded in here today. All right, here's the romaine, 288 a bunch. Can you believe that? Oh, okay, but we're gonna get it anyway. And I'm actually gonna get three of these so I gotta find some that are really nice so back in just a minute okay here's what I got I tried to pick those out that were the heaviest and they're good until the 26 so that's that's good all right so I think we've got enough of that now I'm gonna go over there and be looking for pears so it's really crowded in here and it's Monday can you believe that all right, we're gonna go over and see if we can find some uh, pears, apples, and I've gotta get oranges, so we'll be back. Okay, these are the oranges I've been getting. Look at this, $7.98. Oh, and boy, do I wish they had these at the farmer's market. I'd get them so much cheaper, but anyway, I'm gonna to have to get two bags of these. They are, there are seven in each one. I can't help believe the prices, I can't. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get them because health is more important than money, right? All right, and also, I see there are pears down there. I'm gonna go ahead and get those. And I think I'm gonna to try to get some bagged apples. They're a little bit cheaper. All right, we'll see y'all in a little while. Okay, I think I'm gonna get these pears because they look more ripe, certainly, than those. And those are $1.97 a pound. These are a dollar seventy-seven a pound. And those are a dollar ninety-seven. I mean, that's a little confusing. Okay, and there are the. I guess those are the Granny Smith apples. Let's see. Can't really tell. Yeah, those are Granny Smith apples. So I'm gonna get some of those. I was gonna just go ahead and get the. Uh, regular apples but the Vitamix video said to get Granny Smith so that's what I'm gonna get and these pears all right we'll be back I also got to get bananas and those look pretty good over there so I'm gonna get bananas all right we'll be back okay y'all I ran into some young ladies that are Mennonites and I thought they were vegetarian but they're not but they eat real healthy apparently because this is Mary and she's got her two daughters with her and they all look real healthy. So I'm going to ask Mary some questions. All right, there are the two lovely daughters and the lovely mama, right? You're That's the mama, right? right? Okay. Right. So y'all are not vegetarians, but you eat real healthy, don't we you? We try to, yes. Yeah, and you cook a lot of your own food, right? Yes. You don't buy many packaged foods. Uh-oh, yeah. I see the sugar there. You're going to do some canning, aren't you? I do some. I do a lot. Yeah, quite yeah. a bit. What do you yeah. do? Make jams and all yes. that? Yeah. Okay. What else would you like to say? Speak up. <laughs> oh, just, wait. I know. Do y'all make your own clothes? We do. Those are lovely. Yeah. Do, the, do the two daughters sew too? No, they're, no, I'm getting ready to teach them. Oh, okay. Okay. But y'all go to regular school, right? We have our own private school. Oh, and where? Is that in Swansea? Is that where no, y'all? No, we live in Barnwell. 
Oh, in or Barnwell. And you come all the way out of Barnwell. Oh, okay. So how many students are in there? My husband was the public school superintendent here in Calhoun County. Oh, over the way. This is Orangeburg, okay. of course. Okay. So uh, how, how many students are in y'all school? About 50. How many? 50. 50? That is okay. great. And so who are the, are the teachers, regular teachers, or are they just, or are they uh, not like the public school teachers? I don't, um, I don't know our, what I'm trying our to. Our principal, he's, um, he went to college. Yeah, he's a. Uh -huh. Yeah. Certified. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they go all the way from first through twelfth. That's right. Yeah. So how are y'all different than uh, than other religions? What makes y'all different? I know you eat real healthy. Well, it's not really about eating. It's about following the Bible, doing what we feel the Bible teaches us to do. Yeah. We read the Bible and live by that. Yeah. So um, I just did a video on. Uh, what we should eat according to the Bible and I used the thing in Genesis where the fruits and nuts on the trees and all the green stuff okay. look at my card over there look at that, oh, that looks good. <laughs> I know so we do smoothies do y'all do smoothies not much we do some yeah so we're doing green smoothies a lot a lot okay so what we decided to do is go to supper too and just have a regular meal at lunch now, I have eaten at one of those restaurants. There's just one down there in, in Barnwell, right? A restaurant? Or is it in, sorry y'all, I was holding the, the camera down. I got all involved in what she was saying. Uh, do, do you, uh, there's a restaurant, I, I thought it was in Swansea. We went there once, the food was out of this world good. It was right here in South Carolina. I don't know. There's one in Blackville. I don't that's it. Okay. That's it. That's it. And y'all make your own bread, don't you? I do. Not yeah. everybody does, but I do because my family likes it. Oh, and we like it too, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what does your husband do? Well, he had been one of the teachers at, at our school, but he is now working part-time for a farmer. Oh, I see. Yeah. Do you have a garden yourself? I do. Oh, I bet you can and freeze everything, don't you? I try to. I'm going to have to come and visit yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah, so I saw that sugar. I thought, I bet she's going to be doing all kinds of freezing and canning. But we eat meat, too. I mean, we do try, we like to raise our own meat and butcher. And, um, oh, you do raise your own meat? We, we and, try to. And so they're grass-fed, aren't they? That's right. Oh, my goodness. We need to have you do... You need a platform telling us how y'all eat. Now, we still eat a little meat, too, but of course it's all, you know, like I'm getting ready to get some Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Okay. But, but they don't have preservatives, if that counts. That counts, right? I think it does. It counts a little. All right, and what are your girls' names? Who is this right here? It's Heidi. Heidi and... Andrea. And who? Andrea. Andrea. Oh, y'all are beautiful. And look how clear their skin is. Look at that from eating really good food, right? <laughs> and growing your own, huh? I'm sure it helps. Okay, well, I don't know what we're gonna call this video. Mennonite ladies. Yeah, that's what we'll entitle it. All right, we will see y'all in a minute. Okay, we finished our shopping uh, and uh, we're ready to go home. I am gonna stop at Bilo and pick up a couple of things, but I won't record in there. But anyway, wasn't that nice that, that uh, Mennonite lady, Mary, to uh, talk with me? Now, after uh, I talked with her and her daughters, I also talked with the meat manager, and we had quite a discussion about hot dogs. It seems that um, in our area, I'm sweating because it's it's still 93 degrees. Um, oh, there's a wasp trying to come in my car window. Uh, 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 roll the windows down to get it cool in here, but the air conditioner's already kicked in. Anyway, uh, so we had a nice discussion. Oh, sorry, y'all. Yeah, I'm hot. I'm hot. Anyway, uh, he was uh, talking about the hot dogs. And, of course, in this Walmart, they sell the Oscar Mayer Angus beef that don't have any, any preservatives in them other than celery juice or what uh, uh, the nitrates or nitrates that appear naturally in, in celery juice. So anyway, we got those a couple of times, and um, this time, I just went ahead and got a couple of packs of them, and I'm gonna freeze them. And the Oscar Mayer Angus beef uh, hot dogs come in at four in a pack, you know, so I really like that. Yeah, we kind of ditched the, uh, 
vegetarian hot dogs. We, we just finally decided, wait, we don't like these. So, but we don't eat hot dogs that often anyway. So, all right, so we will see y'all in a few minutes. If I can think of anything else to record, we'll record it. All right. Okay, we are almost home now, and uh, I was gonna stop and get some uh, cantaloupe and watermelon. Whoops, that was a highway patrolman behind me. Ew, I was going five miles over the speed limit, but he didn't stop me. I better pay attention. Ooh. Okay. There he goes. Can y'all see him? Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to ride down uh, the road a little bit, and um, I remember there used to be a guy that would be there on the side of the road with watermelons and cantaloupes, and uh, I'm not sure if he's there on Monday, though, but we're going to ride down there and see. Otherwise, uh, we'll see y'all later on the next video. Bye now.